Well, health and social care is going to be delivered in, in, in so many different ways in the future. Um, we see, of course, a growing elderly population. We see a growth of numbers of individuals living with long-term conditions. And part of the new agenda with, would be how we can achieve better health outcomes for the same amount of resources, both the same amount of money, but also the same amount of workforce. And one of the biggest changes that we'll see will be the use of new technologies uh, supporting individuals uh, uh, at home uh, to access care services differently. So for example, there will be more remote consultations with healthcare professionals, whether it's a GP or, or, or other staff, um, currently done on the phone and by email, but we'll see much more use of the internet and video consultations, and that will become quite commonplace. I think secondly, we'll see the use of new technologies, either through internet platforms uh, or through uh, smart tablet computers or, or iPhones, whereby you can actually download applications uh, that will support you in managing your own care. Because for people with diabetes or respiratory problems or, or other long-term conditions, um, it becomes much more effective for the health system to use these new technologies safely um, to support people to take care of themselves, uh, to reduce the numbers of times that they unnecessarily have to make a visit to a, a, a GP, um, so empowering them um, so that not only can they, they feel empowered about managing those conditions, but they can live their lives so they don't have to be tied to a consultation, do repeat visits to a hospital, uh, and so on and so forth. And, and, and so the use of these new, new technologies, which are pretty much at the, at the early stages, will be, will be something that is going to be radically different. I think the second thing we'll see for individuals with quite complex illnesses, so people with multiple long-term conditions, conditions, maybe early stage dementia and, and these kinds of issues, is that we'll see health and social care working much more closely in partnership with each other. So um, most likely we will see new capabilities that wrap around general practice, bringing together neighbourhood care teams of uh, social care, nurses, uh, maybe subspecialists from the hospital, working in teams to uh, help to support, to coordinate, to case manage not only the individuals in need of care but also their care and family uh, in providing a solution that supports all of their healthcare needs um, and again seeks to change the nature of the way that we do business in healthcare by supporting people to live healthy and well in local communities and reducing their need for an institutionalisation which as we know uh, can lead to uh, poorer outcomes and higher costs than potentially if we do it in a different way. So those are two I think uh, really different things that we will see um, in the next 10-20 years.